Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to figure out your secret ID in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Five Red Leaf Green, or Coliseum or XD. You're going to be able to do this without resetting the game or without hacking the game. You're just going to need a few things, and one of those is a shiny Pokemon. So, in most games, uh, you can RNG the trainer ID, or you can figure it out right at the start of the game. But if you have caught a shiny Pokemon, then you can actually deduce whatever your trainer ID and secret ID are. Now, this has to be caught. It cannot be bred from an egg. But any stationary or static encounter or gift Pokemon or uh, wild Pokemon should suffice just fine. Uh, in addition, I highly, highly, highly recommend you do this uh, process in Pokemon Emerald. This is because Emerald has the cloning glitch, and it also has EV reducing berries, which don't exist in the other games. So, you're going to need shiny Pokemon, as I said, and you can do this for other games. So, for example, uh, I'm playing Emerald right now, and this Rayquaza, it was caught in this Emerald, and we're going to figure out its exact IVs, and then figure out our secret ID from there. But this Swablu here, uh, it was caught in a different Ruby version, and I traded over here. And as long as I deduce the IVs in this game, I will then know what the secret ID for that Ruby version is. So it's a very flexible, and like I said, I recommend doing it in Emerald. Now, as I uh, alluded to, you're going to need to figure out a Pokemon's exact IVs, uh, and we're going to need rare candies to do that. And that's another reason I suggest Emerald. So, you're going to need uh, as many rare candies as you can muster. And Pokemon Emerald, because of its cloning glitch, uh, lets you get a lot of them. I've got 79 here. Then you're also going to need... Uh, the EV reducing berries and you're not necessarily going to need them You only need these berries if your Pokemon has EVs So they are the Pomeg berry which reduces HP the Kelpsy berry which reduces attack the Qualot berry Which reduces defense the Hondu berry which reduces special attack the Greppa berry which reduces special defense and the Tomato berry Which reduces speed all of these berries are going to be needed in order to reduce any EVs because they mess with stat calculations so, why does this work? Well, you see, in Gen 3, a Pokemon's PID, which is what determines uh, if it is shiny or not relative to your trainer ID and secret ID, it can only legally be with a few, probably five max, uh, uh, IVs combinations. This is just because, for whatever reason, uh, during this time period, the games tie a PID generation to an IV generation. If it was caught in a... Uh, GBA game, you really only have one of three options for methods, and if you deduce the IVs to be exact, very rarely is there going to be any crossover, but there could be some, and we'll see uh, when we get to this uh, process. So, the first thing you're going to need out of the game is PokeFinder. PokeFinder has two things built into it. If you click the Gen 3 tool section and click IV to PID, this window will pop up. Uh, so what it's asking for here is the nature of the Pokemon, all of its IVs, and then your trainer ID of that Pokemon. But PokeFinder also has a really, really good IV calculator, which you can see in the lower right-hand corner. Uh, this, uh, this will allow you to figure out the exact IVs, which you can then put into the IV to PID section. And the way we're going to be doing that is by using Rare Candies. Uh, so we're going to figure out my Rayquaza first. So Rayquaza is bold-natured, and it was caught in Emerald version. So we're going to put that info into this calculator. Uh, it doesn't have characteristics. Those don't exist in Gen 3, and I don't know its hidden power either. Now, we can't just input level 70 and then input all these stats, because if we do that, let's take a look here. 287, 238, 239, 172, 178. Oh, uh, I forgot to say. Oh, 185 defense. 185 defense. 239, 172. 178. And if we click Find IVs, it'll say they're all invalid. This is because when you battle Pokemon, or when you're wearing the uh, EXP share and you battle Pokemon, the Pokemon gains uh, EVs, which are basically like experience points, but for individual stats. And that messes with the calculation. But the berries in Emerald version lets you remove these EVs. So, let's start with the Pomeg Berry. So, the max EVs a Pokemon could have in a given stat are 255. And in order to remove all of them, we're going to need to have more than 26 of every berry. So, I've gone and done that. You can either do this via growing or via cloning. 
So what we're going to do is mash the pomeg berry oops, until it says that it uh, can't go down anymore. So we use that. So the base HP fell, and we're going to keep doing it. And you're going to keep doing it until all of the stats say that they can't uh, go down anymore. So as you can see there, the berry didn't have any effect. So now we can move on to the next stat. Alright, we can move on to the next stat. Alright, we can move on to the special attack. Alright, we can move on to special defense. And the last one is speed. Alright, and so now this Rayquaza has no... Uh, this Rayquaza has no EVs on it. So now we can uh, effectively try and deduce its stats. So as you can see, they're all totally different from what they were before. 260, 215, 174, 235, 160, 161. And then we can click Find IVs. So, as you can see, most of the IVs are figured out exactly. However, uh, HP and Special Defense uh, and Attack are all arranged. So what we can do is click Add Row and change the to the next level we're going to be and give Rayquaza a rare candy. So we type these stats in. And there's a chance it gives us some more information. And as you can see, HP is fully deduced. And so we just have to do that until we figure out exactly what the IVs are. And this is why you need a lot of rare candies. Now, the higher level Pokemon that you use, the less rare candies you're probably going to need. Uh, because IVs get more and more clear as the levels go up. So you can see, probably only going to need a few more rows. Uh, sometimes you can get unlucky and it'll take a long time, but it is pretty much luck of the draw. Alright, so now we know Rayquaza's exact IVs, and we can put them into here. So, the nature is bold, the HP is 20, the attack is 8, the defense is 23, the special attack is 3, the special defense is 24, and the speed is 16. Now for the trainer ID, that is just on your uh, Pokemon summary, so we'll take a look here. Uh, it's 2886. You don't actually have to include the looting zero, or the leading zero. When you click find, it'll probably go away. Yeah. It's okay if the leading zero goes away. Pokefinder doesn't usually care about them. So as you can see, I've got one answer. It was a method one Pokemon, and its secret ID was 15968. Uh, and so that is this emerald's secret ID. Now, there's a, a bit of extra info here, and you can use that to check. So PID and seed, you, you can't check those, right? Method 1 is interesting. So, Method 1, I've done a video on how to RNG Method 1 Pokemon. These are static encounters. So, it is likely a Method 1 Pokemon if it was a legendary in the overworld, such as Rayquaza, Kyogre, Groudon, the Regis, etc. Uh, it was a Method 1 Pokemon if it was a roaming Pokemon, uh, such as the Lottis. It was a Method 1 Pokemon if it was a fossil Pokemon. Uh, or if it was uh, one of the overworld random gift encounters, something like a Kecleon or Cast Form uh, or anything like that. Or even the Starters, for example. Those are all uh, Method 1 Pokemon. Now, if you were using a Wild Pokemon, the method here could be Method 2 if it was Emerald version. Uh, in addition to that, if you caught it from the GameCube, it usually just says Gales slash XD slash Kalo. Now, let's move on to our other uh, suspect here, which is my Swablu. This Swablu was caught in a different game in my Ruby version. Now, I also uh, want to say two things about it. One, it has no experience points because I caught it and I never sent it into battle. So, I, in that case, you don't have to do the EV reducing berry thing, right? And you would just need rare candies. So, uh, what we can do is uh, open up the stack calculator again and figure out what this Swablu is doing. So it's Timid, it is a Swablu, and it was from Ruby and Sapphire. Now, I don't know it's hidden power, and we're just going to have to remove all these rows. There's a level 15 Swablu, uh, with 43 HP, 18 attack, 27 defense, 21 special attack, 32 special defense, and 26 speed. If we click Find IVs, we're going to get our results here, but they are just not good enough, so we're going to need to use the rare candies again. Now, like I said, I know it has no EVs, because if you catch a Pokemon, and then you never battle with it, it won't have any EVs. And so, you can use that knowledge to 
hunt for a fresh shiny Pokemon and immediately use it without having to do any EV reducing berries. So let's add a row. 16. Uh, 45, 19, 29, 22, 33, 27. Alright, and we're just going to have to keep going. Now, it's probably going to take more than the Rayquaza, but we'll see. So, as you can see, it took 51 levels to get Swablu's exact IVs. So, this is what I mean by higher level, the better. So, typically, a Legendary is your best bet to figure out your secret ID, but sometimes that is not what you have. Okay, so now we can input Swablu's IVs, which are all 31s. And we can input Swablu's uh, trainer ID. Which was 07685. Then click Find. So, as you might notice, there are... Quite a lot of uh, uh, <laughs> quite a lot of results here, but you can rule a lot of them out very very quickly. So let's take a look at what the methods are here. So the first seed and PID that I've gotten, uh, which would have a secret ID of uh, nine two eight, our XD slash Colo method, right? So that means this Swablu would have had to have been caught shiny in XD or Colosseum, but it wasn't. I know that I caught it in my Ruby version. In addition to that, as you can see, this Swablu is a female, but the Swablu uh, here, on all possible gender ratios, would be male. So it could not be the Swablu, right? Okay, so moving along. So you can see all of these ones that say Cute Charm DPPT. These are from uh, Diamond and Pearl's Cute Charm glitch. Uh, I am playing on Emerald. This could possibly be from Diamond and Pearl, so we could rule all of those out, right? All right, so now let's take a look at the last four here. Uh, method four is possible, and we'll come back to that. Reverse method one, these are, uh, reverse method one is very rare. It is basically only for the bonus disc Jirachi or for the unknowns in Fire Red and Leaf Green. So it is safe to rule out the reverse method ones. Now method one and method four. So for wild Pokemon, the way it works is a bit different. In Emerald version, wild Pokemon are almost always method two and uh, in Ruby and Sapphire, wild Pokemon are almost always Method 4. Now, for fishing Pokemon that are wild, uh, Method 4 is very possible. Method 4 happens a lot more when fishing. And Fire Red and Leaf Green, Method 1 is also the most common for wild Pokemon. However, in all of the games, all three of these methods are possible. So, you could hit Method 1, 2, or 4 for wild Pokemon in Ruby and Sapphire. You could hit uh, the same thing in Emerald version and the same thing in Fire Red and Leaf Green. You can never be 100% confident, you can just be certain of what is most likely. And because it's Ruby version, the most likely is, um, the most likely is Method 1. So let's inspect Method 1 first, right? So we take a look at Method 1, it says, uh, Ability 0. So we could figure out Ability 0 by going on to, uh, Cerebi. So, it appears that if I look on the internet, Swablu only has one ability and it's Natural Cure. So, being Ability 0 or 1, it can help us, right? Uh, the gender ratio. Uh, what is Swablu's gender ratio? It is 50-50 male versus female, and it says it's female here. So as you can see, the 50-50 gender ratio, and it's a girl. So that lines up correctly. And the last thing is a secret ID, which we don't know. Now for the method 4 one, if you take a look, uh, the gender ratio actually says that the Swablu would be male. So we know for sure now that it can't be method 4, and it has to be this method 1 Pokemon here. And so now we know our secret ID and our trainer ID. Now, what would we have done if this was also female for whatever reason, right? Well, if it comes down to it and you have two different options or three different options for what your secret ID could be, very simple. You just try an RNG a shiny with all three of them. And if you figure it out, if you fail and it's not shiny, then you know that's not the secret ID that you've got. Uh, and simple as that. And in order to do that, you could follow my wild Pokemon guides. I'll have them linked in the description or in the comments or something like that. So I hope this video was helpful for you all. Uh, thank you for watching, and good luck oranging those shinies. I want to give a special shout-out to all of my channel members. Thank you very much. Uh, without your support, my streams and videos would be much less frequent, and every single member that I have uh, goes towards me producing more content. Uh, in addition, I'm trying to get to 50 channel members. If I do so, I will produce a bonus disc Jirachi RNG guide, and I will do it all on a live stream. 
and then a super duper special shout out to Kimoroki and Shadow Blitz 56 for being the Blist God tier members. You guys are legends. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next video. Thank you.